Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For this video, I'm going to talk about 10 different websites that I actually use myself. They're super useful, so I thought I would share them with you guys so you can use them as well. All of these websites are going to work obviously on Mac and Windows computers, and also they're all free to use. With that being said, we're gonna get started. I hope you enjoy. I'll try to keep all the descriptions of the websites pretty short and sweet. So this first one is called justwatch.com. And if you're ever thinking of a movie or a TV show that you want to watch, you come to this website. You can go up into the search up here and just type in the movie or show that you're thinking of. What this website does is scan all the streaming services that are out there and lets you know where that movie or show is available. So for this example, you'll see it's available to stream on Netflix, it's available to rent on these platforms, and it's available to buy here. This next website is a white noise generator. It's a great alternative to listening to music when you're on your computer, and it just allows you to select all these different sounds and use this slider to adjust them and pretty much create your own little calming white noise. So if you like the sound of a fireplace, you can add that. If you want some bird sounds in there, maybe a little bit of rain and some general white noise, you can click on the play button. Personally, I really like the birds and the singing bowl. So feel free to go check it out and uh, make your own creations. If you ever have a picture that you need to remove the background from, you can go over to remove.bg. It's a free website that allows you to upload the picture that you want, and it'll automatically remove the background from it without the need for a green screen. So the page will look like this. You can just click on upload image and pick the file that you want to remove the background for. To show you an example, I'm going to click one of these uh, example images down here, and you'll see this is the before image, and this is the after. So it knew to cut out the background all around this vehicle. And when it's done, you could click on download, and then you could use this image for whatever you want. This website is called 10minutemail.com, and it actually gives you a free email address for 10 minutes. The purpose of that is so that you can sign up for different accounts for whatever website or game or whatever that you want, and you could temporarily get emails through that address through your inbox right here. It's really nice for avoiding spam and stuff like that. Also, if there's a website that you don't trust and you don't want to give your real information to, this will help you with that too. And surprisingly, there's no catch. This website's completely free. This is a website called accountkiller.com. What it does is let you search up a lot of popular websites and it tells you how to delete that account. So for example, if you want to get rid of your Netflix account, you'll see here as you type Netflix in, you'll get a recommendation how to cancel your Netflix account. And when you click that, it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. Right down here. So you can also do it for things like Facebook, or pretty much any other website you can think of. So if you have any old accounts somewhere that you want to get rid of, feel free to go to this website. It'll walk you through the steps. Next up, we got fakenamegenerator.com. As soon as you go to this website, you're presented with a full identity that's completely fake. You can use this in combination with that 10-minute mail website I showed you earlier to be able to make accounts anywhere you want without actually giving away your private information. So this website gives you a first name, a middle initial, a last name, an address. It gives you pretty much any information a website might ask for. This doesn't require you to sign up for anything, but if you do feel like signing in, you can sign in with your Google account and that'll allow you to save your identities for later use in case you ever need to access the information again. This next website called virustotal.com, it's a free to use virus scanner that lets you scan files and URLs. So you'll see here on the main page, you have the file tab here where you can click choose file. And uh, I'm gonna show you this example right here. Just open it up and it will scan that document with all these different antivirus programs. And overall, obviously no threats were detected because it was just an empty text document. But if you ever have a file on your computer that you're suspicious of or a program, 
you can run it through here and see if you get any bad results. Now on top of that you can go back and click on the URL tab and you can type in websites here to see if those are trustworthy or malicious websites. So if you know what a radio scanner is, you'll be pretty familiar with what this website does. For those of you who don't know, a lot of uh, emergency services such as police and paramedics and fire departments will broadcast radio signals that people can pick up using a radio scanner. But this website allows you to listen without the need for a radio scanner. And it's completely free to use. So all you need to do when you get to the website is click on the button that says listen right here. And then you can click your state. So for this, I'll just click New York. And then you find your county. So we'll go with this one right here. And when that's all said and done, you could scroll down and it shows you all the different channels that are available. So there's one for fire and EMS. There's Hurricane Watch and a whole bunch of others here. Here is a website that lets you search up pretty much any software or app that you can think of, and it'll tell you what the alternatives to that are. So, for example, let's say you wanted to get Photoshop, but it's too expensive for you. So you come here and you type in Photoshop. Click here, Adobe Photoshop, and you'll see it starts listing all the alternatives to that app. So the first result here is called GIMP. I've used this in the past. It's actually really similar to Photoshop, but it's free. And you can see right here, it shows you that it's free and open source. It shows you it's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And it even shows you a short description and some reviews. So you can also do this for a ton of other softwares like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or pretty much anything. Okay, last but not least, we have Google Voice. To access this, you go to voice.google.com. And believe it or not, if you have a Google account, you can actually get a free phone number through Google. And you'll get this whole interface here where you can dial and make calls. You can also receive calls and even text messages. So up in the corner here, I'll blur mine out, but it gives you a phone number. And uh, this is your dial pad down here in the bottom right. Right here will be your call log if people called you or you called them. And it even has a voicemail service right here. Sometimes if I don't have good reception on my cell phone, since I don't have a home phone, I'll come and use this, and with combination of my headset and my computer mic, it actually makes phone calls pretty crystal clear, and uh, it just feels nice doing it on my computer, rather than holding a phone to my ear and, you know, pacing around the house or whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you like these 10 websites that I shared today. I have a lot more that I could share, so if you guys would like a part 2, let me know. Just remember, all the links for all these websites will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.